subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about training and testing laws. This concept is very very important because we use this concept in almost all the models. Based on the training laws and testing laws, we will evaluate the models, how good our model is. We'll, we'll do it based on our training and testing laws. So it's very, very important. Let's take an example and understand what training laws and testing laws is. The example which we consider here is, in our first 10 classes, we already discussed about our first basic machine learning model. What's that model is? Linear regression model. We will take that model into consideration here and we'll take it as an example and we'll explain you what training loss and testing loss is. So our assumption here is you have already watched those 10 videos and you are good at understanding linear regression. So if you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. For better understanding of the subject, please follow us from the beginning of the classes. Okay, coming to our example, the example data set which we consider here is the tip amount prediction data set. This is the data set which we are using it from the beginning of the classes. So here we are having two columns, bill amount and tip amount. Based on the bill amount, we have to predict the tip amount. This is what our interest is. So here the data collected is 10, data, 10 customers given, he has made a bill amount of 500, given a tip amount of 45, like that second customer 550 and a tip amount of 50, like that we collected the data. Usually the data will be in lakhs. For understanding we are taking only 10 data points. This is what our data set is. In our previous class, when we discussed about training data, testing data and validation data, what we discussed, our data set will be divided into three different uh, splittings. Training data, validation data and testing data. So forget about validation data here. We will discuss what's the use of validation data when we discuss our first models and uh, models. Now we are splitting this data into two data sets. What's training data and testing data. The points which are in black, we are taking it as training data points, which are in blue, we are taking it as testing data points. Total 10 data points, we are taking seven for training data and three of the data points we are taking for testing data. So what's our basic machine learning models do? What's our machine learning models do? Our machine learning models will take input, training data is taken as input to this model and this model will identify a function, some mathematical function, it, it may be any mathematical function, forget about what kind of function it is, it will identify a function. So what this function will do is, this based on this function, this function is helps in predicting our future data points future data points means testing points suppose a new customer came into our restaurant he made a bill amount of 500 if you substitute that 500 value in this function this function will give you prediction about how much tip amount he will give that is what this functions will do okay this is what basic machine what, what machine learning algorithms will do. Coming to our first model, our model is a linear regression model. What this model will do is, let's take an example, this training data points are plotted on the two-dimensional coordinate space. X-axis is taken as bill amount, Y-axis is taken as tip amount. This is how we plotted the data. What this model will do is, it will take training data as input, and it will identify a function. Here, this model will identify a equation of a line. Here, function means this model will identify a function. What function it will identify? It will identify the equation of the line. That's why this model name has given as linear regression. It is identifying a line. Which line it will identify? It will identify a line that is having minimum loss 
so all the concepts what is meant by loss everything is discussed in our previous classes now let's refresh the concept once so what is meant by loss so let's assume that this training data is given as input to our model and our model has will identify a function assume that our model identify a function 0.1 x plus 2 this is the function means equation of a line y hat is equal to y is equal to mx plus c that is what equation of the line is here we are taking a y hat y hat is equal to 0.1 x plus c this is the equation of line which our model identify so what's loss is now let's take the testing data points one customer has come in and he made a bill amount of 550 substitute x value this is what x value is substitute this 550 in our equation 0.1 into 550 plus 2 that is 55 plus 2 value is 57 this is what our model our model generated a function our, what our function has predicted our function predicted that this customer will give a tip amount of 57 but actually he has given 50 tip amount he has given is 50 so what's the difference between these two values predicted value and this is actual value actually how much he has given he has given a value of amount of 50 the difference is 7 57 minus 50 actual value minus predicted value we call it as loss so what's the loss equation what's the loss equation is loss is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n means take all the points all the testing points if you are working on training data all the training points testing points y means actual value minus y hat means predicted value 57 whole square why we are doing square means uh, for eliminating negative sign uh, we, are, we are doing square this we clearly explained in our previous classes divided by n means number of data points uh, so calculate loss for all the test points uh, all the test points uh, for first point uh, 7 whole square plus uh, second point uh, he has made a bill amount of 500 substitute here what's the predicted value you will get 52 0.1 into 500 means 50 plus 2 that is 52 what's the actual value he has given 48 52 minus 48 4 whole square plus like that the next point 12 whole square divided by 3 how many testing points we have taken three points that's why divided by n this is what testing loss is the loss calculated on testing data we call it as test loss the same way identify calculate the loss on training data on training data what's the training data is take the first point 500 so what's the predicted value we will get 52 what's the actual tip amount he has given 45 first point 45 so 45 minus 52 means of sevens so training data is seven square plus second point seven square plus so on all the points divided by total how many points we have seven points this is how we calculate training loss and testing loss see here one point we have to understand properly this is very very important if our model see if our model is predicting accurate values accurate values means our predicted values is very near to actual values if our model is predicting very accurately means near to actual values then loss will be less why actual value minus predicted value if these are close to each other the difference will be less means loss will be less if our model is not predicting accurately to actual values our loss will be high see accuracy depends on loss as loss increasing accuracy decreases as accuracy increasing means loss is decreasing these two are inversely proportional as loss increasing means accuracy of your model is decreasing as loss decreasing means accuracy of our model is increasing this point is very very important to understand okay 
hope you understand the class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you